Hi guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. The Easter Bunny is getting ready to bring some fun surprises so it's time to start decorating. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute bunny to hang on your wall or even your door. It's so easy and it's just made from a hat, headband, tool, and some scraps of felt. So let's have some fun. But before I forget, if you haven't seen my other Easter wreath DIY, I'll add the link at the end of this video. Okay, for today's project, we're going to use a Dollar Tree uh, bonnet, they call it. Let's see, it's a hat. And it has a little flower up on top. And it has a little, like, elastic ribbon around the sides. Uh, we'll be using that, so we're also going to be using some bunny headband. But we'll be removing the hard piece that's inside of the band. Some tool, which you can also get at the Dollar Tree. Some scraps of felt, some black, white, and pink. Uh, I didn't have any pink felt, so what I'm going to use is a piece of a leftover ribbon that I had for the nose. Just use what you have. I'm improvise. I wasn't going to go out and buy a piece of pink felt just for this project. And out of the black and white, you'll be cutting some eyes, white and black, um, any shape you want. I chose to do ovals, uh, whatever. I may end up cutting them flat but we'll decide as we go along. Um, you may need a marker, some scissors, hot glue gun. Um, I'll leave a full list of supplies at, in the description of the video below. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to cut, you're gonna need eight inch strips of white tool. Can you see that? There, a little bit better. Eight inch. So the roll is long. What you're going to want to do is hold the roll this way and go eight inches this way. Okay, and I've found that the easiest way to do this is to get a piece of cardboard, um, cereal box, shoe box cover, anything that's going to measure eight inches. Okay. And then what you'll do, let me show you, this does measure, let me get the right side, 8 inches, pretty much, give or take a little bit, doesn't have to be exact, 8 inches. And you're going to take your roll of tool, and you're going to put it to the edge, and then just wrap your tool around. You can do the whole roll. We're probably going to need more than ro one roll of tool. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, but before I leave, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to cut this side, and then we'll cut this side, and we'll end up with eight inch strips. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that off camera. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me roll the whole tool. And then I'll come back. Okay, now that we have the tool cut into the 8 inch strips, what you're going to do is loosen up this elastic ribbon that's around the edge of the hat. It's glued down with some hot glue, um, but just be careful and you can lift it and loosen it up. Be sure to leave part of it attached so that it doesn't come off. I think I'm going to leave this little flower on. You can cut it off if you would like um, but I think I'm going to incorporate that into like so it looks like the the bunny is going to have a little bow or something I may loosen it up and put it forward or or something like that but leave that secure for now and then you can always decide whether you want to take that off or not that will help us keep the 
ribbon attached as we're going to attach our tool. And what we're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tool and you're going to just double it in half. Okay. And then up under the ribbon, you're going to stick the folded end. Put it up under there. And where it's hooped, where it's folded over, you're going to take your ends, stick them through that. Well, it's a little... Let's try that again. Keep it kind of like around your finger so you have a good hole. Pull that up separate the hole, put your ends through it, and then just pull your ends and tighten your tie around that. And so, there you have it. It's going to give our bunny a little fluffy look. Okay, let me show you that one more time. Gather up your tool in the middle, put it around your finger, Stick it up under the ribbon. Let me move out of the way of this other one so that you can see better. Under the ribbon, take your ends, stick them through the loop, pull it out, and then just tighten it down and push them together so they're next to one another. And as you can see, it'll get fuller as we go along. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them all the way around the brim of the hat. Okay, and that's going to give our little uh, furry look to our bunny. Let me go do that, and then we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just over two spools of the tool. Um, it's all around. Now, you can either lay it flat you can puff it up so it's up against the top of the, the hat. Yeah, that's your choice. Next, what you're going to need to do is get your headband. And I've already cut my, my ears. All you're going to do is, I'll just put it back in here. What you're going to do is snip the end and either you can push it up and then with some good snips or by hand just cut it or break it off and then you can either leave the fur on or you can cut it off as I did it's that's totally optional that's up to you and you'll need to decide whether you want them in the back in the behind the tool or if you're going to want them in the front. And when you glue them on, you won't have that bump because you'll glue it so that it goes straight to the, to the hat. So that's your choice of what you're going to decide to do. Okay, I think I'm going to put mine in the back. I did end up cutting the flower off, and so I'm going to put my ears up there to cover that. Put them like that. Okay, so I'm going to put it sideways so it'll be easier to hold. Okay, so with your glue gun, you're going to hit, go ahead and put glue right on there. Put a pretty good amount so that it'll stick and they won't flop off. And then you're going to find where you want to put them. Go up underneath the hat and be very careful. You don't want to burn yourself because the glue will come through. And just kind of hold it there to the hat until it dries. Okay. And if you need to re-glue it again and put extra, um, which I think I may just to secure it, just pull it back a little bit, stick some little bit of glue in there, 
and then just push it down. The hat will pop back up. And you'll get a little shape to the head as well, so it's not just one round face. Okay? So there we go. Next, what you're going to need to do is cut out some eyes, whatever shape you want, out of felt, and you'll start seeing the bunny come together. Some eyes, the nose, and then you'll want to either draw a mouth. There's many ways you could do the mouth with marker. You can um, take some embroidery uh, thread and stitch through because the hat does have holes you could go through. Um, you can paint it on, use nail polish, use what you, ha what you have. Okay, let me go ahead and glue those on and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've decided that I wanted a little bit more form to the face so that it, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a the eyes are a little bit back and the nose is popping out so what I decided I took the part of the headband that I broke off and I just glued it right up the middle and now what I'm going to do is just put some hot glue on the sides And then, just a little bit, I'm going to glue the hat, just squeeze the hat up against that to hold it, and it will give it a little bit of, like a bridge of the nose of the bunny. So we let that dry, and hopefully it will stay. Hopefully there'll be enough there. And you just kind of play around with it and mold it the way you want it to be. Okay, I'll be right back when that's dry. Okay, so we've got the nose on, the eyes, well, one eye. And can you see, I don't know if you can see in the video, there, you can see a little bit how that little piece of the headband that's glued inside forms the nose a little bit more. I mean, that's optional. That's up to you if you want to go through that, or you can just leave the face flat. And I'm going to glue the other eye on now. Don't burn yourself. And there you go. The eyes are on, the nose is on, and now you just need to draw the mouth. Let's see. I think to draw my mouth, I'm going to use uh, just a marker. It's a Faber, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. But any marker will do it. Sharpie's fine. I just like the, the brush tip on this. So I'm going to, I have a little outline here, just color it in. This forms his cheeks and his mouth. And the texture of the hat, you may have to color it a little bit. And like I said, if you would like, you can always embroider this part on. You could paint it on. You might want to draw it on with pencil first. here and get the bottom of the mouth part.
Oh, let's see, is that, oh, got one side a little bit higher than the other. And this is just your preference, whatever kind of mouth or face you want to make. You can Google images of bunny faces and you'll find all different types of eyes. You can do different shapes, eyes. You can use a, a upside down um, heart I've seen for noses as well. Okay, and then for whiskers, you can use pipe cleaners, you can draw your whiskers on. I am going to use, I think, this cord. It is by Darice. You can get it in any craft store. I think Walmart has it. It's a plastic canvas cord. I'm going to use this. It has a little bit of um, stiffness to it, so I think those would make pretty cute whiskers. So I'm going to cut some pieces. Oh, let's see. I'm going to make them a little bit longer, and I can always cut them short. So let's see. What do we got here? I think let me get my ruler. These are about, I just started with oh, about three, three and a half inches. And they don't have to be all the same size. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to cut those pieces and then glue them on and then I will come back. Before I glue them on, um, I decided I wanted to give the, the cheeks a little bit of a blush look. Now I have some um, chalks, blending chalks. Uh, but you don't need these. You can just get a regular piece of sidewalk chalk that your kids use, your grandkids use, and just take some shavings off and with a little tissue just dab it on. So I have some pinkish one here. This is, Once again, this is optional. Everybody's bunny is going to have a little character. And you just want to kind of blush it on. Just rub it around with a tissue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You kind of just want it to blend in a little bit. You don't want, you know, just a big old circle there. Just to give it a little bit of, of, of oomph to your bunny. Make him look a little cuter. You can make it as light, light or as dark as you want. And you're getting cute. He's coming together. And then what we'll do is we'll right in that area glue the whiskers on so I think I'm gonna cut mine a little bit shorter than when I have them I think I'm gonna probably cut them down to maybe an inch and a half somewhere around there and just take a little bit of glue put it on here rather than putting it on your hat you want to put the glue onto if you can get as little bit as possible on there so it doesn't show too much and just place them on there where you want them to be simple and once I get my whiskers back on I'll come back and show you all together okay so there you have it we've got the whiskers on I went ahead and colored the mouth in a little bit just glued those right on trimmed them up to the size you want and that's the main part of the bunny. Now it's just however you want to, if you want to decorate it anymore, you could leave it like this, or you can make a bow. You can take some of the tubing from the Dollar Tree and just kind of fold it up and make a bow. You can wrap it around and you can tie it and then you can put a bow there you can use ribbon to make a bow you can take a flower Dollar Tree has these clip-on flowers they have a clip and you can clip a flower on the bunny or if you don't like it that big you can take that off they have these pretty flowers they come in all different colors just clip off one from the bunch and 
you can use one of those. That looks kind of cute. Put it on the side. Or if you don't want a bow and you just want to put some flowers down here around the bottom of the bunny's neck. And he has a wearing a she's she's wearing flowers around her neck. That's totally up to you. So let me know in the comments what you're gonna do to your bunny once you have the main part done. Are you gonna leave it like this and hang it up or are you gonna put a bow on? Is it gonna be a girl bunny or a boy bunny? Let me know. I'm happy to hear. And if you click the link and join my group for Facebook, I'd love to see what you've done with your bunny.